What's up everybody, how's it going? It's Burke, aka Dansgwait here, and welcome to another Halloween special premiere on the channel. This is a tradition that I started a few years ago, and of course I did so with the legendary Resident Evil. And since then, I have officially become a fan of the franchise. I've already played through the first four games on the channel, including both the OG and the remake version of Resident Evil 3. And so I am getting quite experienced on that front, but... Uh, I did get a bit burned out more recently, especially with Resident Evil 4 Remake, which was awesome, and I had a really good time with it. But for this year, I knew that I wanted to do a different game on the channel for Halloween, and I was considering my options, and then I realised that the remake of a game that I was once interested in had come out this year, and I really wanted to give it a go. So that game is, of course, Dead Space. Back in 2008, the first game came out, and I remember seeing the visuals and stuff, and the fact that it was space-themed, and thinking, wow, like this is a game that's really up my street. I've always been fascinated and interested in space and space exploration and all of that kind of stuff. And so I thought, this is the game for me. But then I kind of realized it was much more horror-themed, and then time went by, and I never really played it. Because as many of you guys watching know, I'm generally averse to playing horror games. And Resident Evil, based on what I've played so far, it kind of straddles that line between being more of like an action-adventure and having horror elements in it. This game, from what I've heard, it does slide a bit more into the horror side of things. It is a scarier game than Resident Evil. But now that I've got a little bit of training and I've warmed up, I had such a great time with the, with the likes of Resident Evil that even though this game might be a very different game, in general, it's interesting enough to me that I'd like to give it a go and play it for you guys on the channel. So we are going to be playing the Dead Space remake on PC. Now, I've given it a little bit of testing uh, yesterday, especially on PC. I always need to take a little bit of time to have a look at some settings, make sure it's running okay, and hopefully it should be a relatively smooth experience and we don't have like crashing all the time and things going on. So I hope you guys enjoy it and have fun with this premiere and continue to watch the series afterwards. Since it is a premiere, I am going to say it more at the start of the video. Please do drop a like and show the video some love, especially on these premieres. It really helps these series get off to a good start. I've been keeping track of the statistics and games where I have like a premiere episode to start it with, the general series tends to do better as a result. So thank you all so much for the support and let's get into it and enjoy some Dead Space Remake for 2023 Halloween. Now, uh, yeah, I mean, I think we'll still, there's two tiers below it. So I think medium is, is a good baseline. They literally use the word baseline, which is good for that. Okay, locate mining vessel USG Ishimura. Time to contact point two minutes. I think it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. Oh, I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Strange. Such a little thing. That's her? Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. We're five minutes out, you still got that thing on repeat? Guess you really miss her. Ishimura is not a job you turn down, but six months apart with only fit calls? It's rough. Easy to say the wrong thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hamlin reciting security protocols. Forewarned is forearmed, Miss Daniels. So you keep saying. Here we go. Nice clean re entry. Did you just seven? Imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Where is she? There. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see her running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. 
Someone's got to be waiting up for us. Just be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? You track your file access? I'm a computer analyst. It comes with the job. I ran standard CEC background checks with Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <coughs> Sir, we're in ailing range. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is the USG Kelly. You ever hear of a full communications black on one of these things? Never. Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. What the hell is that? Sounds like their communication array is busted. Maybe a broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, Max. Hey, that gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson, take us in. Gravity tethers engaged. Automated docking. Let's go. I'm losing control. Stabilizer, Isaac. Yeah, they always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Copter down. We lost poor booster. We've got a fire in one of the stabilizers and singularity cores of a mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. Not the singularity core. And of course, we're the main character, so we get the, the helmet on. Or anyone else. New arrivals. I mean, the game looks the part, right? Even though it's not got like all of the bells and whistles. I think the game looks great. Very, very nice. Forget something? How's your ankle? It's like hell. But I've had worse. You go on. I'll get it strapped up. But yeah, for now at least I'm kind of happy with the the sacrifice to have um, RTX on to some degree. Because as I understand it, um, a lot of this game takes place in this kind of stuff. A lot of the artificial lighting, steam, fog, and it really helps with the with the immersion. I think to have that text log. Wow, this looks really long, but it might be worth reading this one. Because it seems to basically, instead of giving you some kind of cutscene or some kind of dialogue or conversation, this is the background of basically our protagonist. I feel like we should kind of read this, so let's do that. Uh, Isaac was born to Paul and Octavia Clark on Earth in the Eastern Seaboard region of the American Republic. Paul Cork was an award-winning ship architect employed by the Galactic Union Merchant Marine Corps. His records show extended time off-world away from his family. When Isaac was born, Paul was given a temporary reassignment to an Earth-based GUMMC ship production facility. During the four-year tour, Paul and Octavia raised Isaac together. When the tour was over, Paul was shipped off for an extended off-world tour. Paul's influence on his son must have rubbed off. Records indicate Isaac pursued studies in mechanical and electrical engineering and achieved high honors. According to medical and psychiatric reports, Paul Clark's absence had a profound effect on Octavia. She suffered from depression and personal anguish until doctors encouraged her to find fulfillment by working with charitable organizations. 
It is believed that this is how she ended up coming in contact with the Church of Unitology. <laughs> okay. At first, her association with the church appeared to alleviate her mental condition. The cancellation of her therapy sessions corresponds with the local parish announcements of her initiation ceremony. There are indications that she sold off much of the family estate to finance full membership in the church and the soul cleanse that are required to enter the higher ranks. That's, that doesn't sound problematic. Isaac appears to have been selected to a prominent engineering school, though we surmise that he was unable to afford the tuition, as the records show that he instead attended a lesser-known school with the help of scholarships and financial assistance. After graduating with high honours, Isaac enlisted in the Merchant Marine. He quickly gained a reputation for his resourceful engineering solutions, and after two years was promoted to a higher profile position closer to the major shipping lanes. Isaac's career stagnates at this point. This would coincide with psychiatric reports that his mother's mental health was deteriorating, and bank records show payments to a psychiatric facility for treatment. This seems to be where Isaac met a medical officer and neuropsychiatrist called Nicole Brennan, and her name appears on Octavia's physician roster. The two of them ended up cohabitating until Brennan accepted a promotion and left to serve on the USG Ishimura. Paul's return from his extended tour coincided with Octavia's release from the hospital. Whatever his assignment was, Paul's service records remained mysteriously classified by the executive order, and unless he confided in Isaac, he took his secrets to the grave. The next records we have are death notices of both Paul and Octavia. Their bodies were willed to the custody of the Church of Unitology, along with the Clarks' entire estate, apparently on Octavia's wishes. Isaac's repeated petitions to have his parents' bodies returned seem to have been ignored. Since the Church refuses any inquiries related to its members, their cause of death is unknown. Overall, Isaac's more than qualified to handle a job like the Ishimura. I talk politics over religion. There you go, that's interesting. Kendra Daniels. I couldn't find anything on her in the time you gave me, but Dalton swears by her. Apparently she's on the mission with his recommendation. If he thinks she has what it takes, who am I to argue? So that was a very long read, but I guess this is how they chose to give you the backstory for Isaac and uh, what's going on with him. So there we go. That's an interesting enough start. Unitology, huh? Okay, all right, okay, I'm just trying to get my bearings here. USG Ishimura. So I can't, like, sprint yet. Slow walk. Yeah, yeah. Keep your hair on. Isaac! Guess we better go. It's probably going to be a lot of conversation between these guys, especially early on, so I'll try not to commentate too much, because then there's a strong risk I, I talk over them, and it gets annoying. Hmm. At least we didn't take out the sign. Chen's a big boy. Welcome, Isaac Clark, to the USG Ishimura. Nice. Rig synced. Collect kinesis and stasis modules from Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. Location? Error. Employee not found. That's good. I can't read security. Same for the chief engineer. What is wrong with their comms? That doesn't sound good. Wow, so dark. There we go. In general, it is a very dark game, though. Like, I, I had a look at my brightness settings earlier and this is quite bright even according to the settings but you can see someone left in a hurry a lot of darkness where's the security detail where's anybody there's nothing locked no duty roster no power to the elevator for god's sake that security console is still working isaac get a damage report i'm done playing around yeah, maybe it's been a while Let's have a look at this next log. 
It's another text one. Let's hope it's not as long as the previous one. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Does anyone else smell that? Smell what? Like something died in the air vents. Oh. It's cool that you can walk around with this though. That's kind of nice. But yeah, let's have a let's have a look at this. I might not read it word for word, but. Um, can you reroute power to the elevator? If I can figure yeah, out so imagine a world where basic resources like fuel are hard to come by, humanity's needs are Isaac, dependent on that security the extinct resources, nearly extinct resources of Earth. And so, yeah, they head out into the cosmos to find resources. Okay. Then the Ishimura comes along, and it's the first of the massive planet cracker ships. Built in 2446, she has enjoyed a long and storied career. Okay. Savior of the colonies. She was created to mine and process asteroids and even small moons with remarkable I, efficiency. Try that security console. Okay. At 62 years old, the Ishimura is still in remarkable shape. So I guess we can see when this game was set. 2508 is when the game is set. So almost 500 years in the future. Um, still in remarkable shape, equipment upgraded, blah, blah, blah. It's still the company's largest planet cracker. Whenever a vital deep space Try mining project console. requires skill experience, the Ishimura is what you call on. There you go. Okay, so... There we go. That's pretty neat. Just nice and simple. Straight towards your goal. Something on the floor here. Seth? I, I oh, there's yeah, nothing. Don't worry about that, man. Just keep going. Sure, it's nothing. Okay, man. Sheesh. Oh god, that smell. He's just obsessed with the smell. What have you got, Isaac? Shit. It's not just comms or the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the trams. Could do that kind of damage to a planet crack. Oh, let's find out. Okay, got up some power. Ventilation's up. Power to the elevator should be. Yeah, this is exactly what they're doing. This is not good. We're just gonna be stuck here and have to Another watch. Malfunction? No, the quarantine systems are all fine. Ship. Oh, wait, do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah, let's meet yeah, our man. friends. Take it easy. Daniels, get those elevators running. There's something in here with us. Up there! Rip. See what we're dealing with. Oh boy. It's the regenerators. There's nothing I can do. Surely. Okay, they managed to make it out at least. That's good. Fuck! Uh, this way? It's so dark, man. Shit. Intense start. Go. Whoa! I don't even have a weapon! Yeah, they're not playing around. But yeah, I really do think the look of the, the spacesuit in Dead Space is really iconic. Okay, let's take it easy. Have a look around. Cut off their limbs. Yeah, let's go. We are weaponized and ready to go. Sorry, crew member, we just we've got stuff to do. I'm sure you'll be fine. Nothing bad will happen to you. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, so this was about as far as I got in my testing. So I got to see um, the pistol, and basically from here on it should be 
um, I decided to stop playing from here. So it's running pretty smoothly as you can see. You're getting the odd like frame skipping or like a little bit happening here and there, but it seems pretty smooth to me and it looks really nice. I mean, look at the general like, atmosphere here, the lighting and everything. It's looking really nice. I'm very impressed. So yeah, it's, it's pretty unique to me already because I mean, I played a decent chunk of third person action games and having this method of like a more kind of slicing projectile type thing and you, and it's better to cut off limbs it goes against my kind of intuitive I've got to try and headshot everything but um, we'll just see how we do what's that? credits okay. right, and then yeah you stomp so we have like the stomping mechanic for boxes I think that's about the extent of it this stage Shoot this. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Sheesh. That does not look good. And neither does that. Yeah, this is the this is the vibe, my friends. Nice. So I was gonna say, is there looting? And uh, well, there does look to be looting, but I'm not gonna stomp this guy. I feel like that's a bit rude. This is like a a comrade that hasn't turned yet, so I feel a bit bad just stomping his face. Let's try and get a reward. I doubt they give you loot, surely. hear that. Yeah, you can hear the heartbeat. That's really Something's glowing here. Oh. I don't think that guy's coming. It's going to be so much of that, like, teasing. They're going to just give you, like, these momentary little jump scares and make you think something's coming. And then it's not. And then it's going to be the opposite. You're going to be really chill. Well, I doubt in this game you'll ever be really chill, but you're going to think it's fine. And then something's going to come out of nowhere. Like through these bloody vents, you can already tell they're dangerous. Security request retrieved. It didn't die. We shot that fucker right between the eyes and it didn't die. Yeah. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help! Yeah, that's definitely, a, uh, for me at least, it's a, it's a bit of a unique take on like a third person shooter. Nice. Med pack has been added. Use it immediately to restore health. Okay. I don't want to use it now, though. It's going to be a hit this run, of course. You guys know how I do. Okay. There they are. Good. Isaac. Oh my god, Isaac. You made it. Just. They're everywhere. Shit, is he, uh. He's gone, Rev. Nothing I can do. What the fuck are these things? The ones I saw, some of them were wearing Ishimura uniforms. They're the crew? Mm. How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair techs. So how do we do this? There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system, and the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Yeah, I think that's going to be a mystery for quite some time, whether Nicole is alive. There's got to be some, some, some people left alive here, surely. Tracking mission, see all current. Let's have a look at this menu here. Le Rig. 
get the tram running, replace the damaged tram, find the data board. Okay. So then we have these. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's dope. The way that they present this is really nice, and you can literally still be walking and tracking at the same time. That's dope. I like that. That's a cool little system. I don't think it's like Resident Evil in the sense that if there's loot in a room, I don't think it will tell you there's still loot there, it seems. But in any case, that's cool. Um, so as always I will do my best to try and loot what I can but especially in a game this dark like look at this screen right here there's just there's a lot of shadows and a lot of dark bits and I don't think like it's going to be the case that everything that you can loot is very nicely telegraphed for you and stuff so what well, blind run as always of course so there's going to be plenty of stuff I'm going to be missing but that's okay I think anytime I see like the little kind of blue lights, stuff like this, obviously these are about as powerful an indicator as you can have that there's something to be looted. I'm sure that's far from all there is. Let's go. I'm sure this is not dangerous. But yeah, unfortunately I'm forced to play it during the day. Basically I've been I've been really busy recently and I need to get this recorded and edited and, and the premiere kind of prepped for uh, Halloween evening. And I'm busier in the evenings this week, so I need to record it during the day. But I can tell from just how dark everything is, even when you turn the brightness up, that at night time I think when you are in a nice dark room everything will work better. Uh, would be a bit scarier of course, but it's that kind of that kind of game. But it's really nice that they have a clean HUD slash UI. I mean, you don't, there's literally nothing to break the immersion right now visually. Super impressive. So you can see the amount of uh, bullets left or projectiles left. Gun. It's just nice and clean. Don't see nothing. The, the health bars built into the suit. Really nice. Good design so far, I think. Let's see, flashing blue. Uh. Yoink! So, a bit of Bioshock vibes here, no? Like, picking up plasmids. Okay. Stasis will slow down enemies and fast-moving objects. Oh, I see. Nice. I kind of I shot this ladder thing, but it kind of worked. I guess it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. Um, hold on. I did kind of want to check the other side. What is that? Legend Stasis. Okay, so I get three charges of it right now, it seems. Let me just have another look. Um. So then. Okay. That's not creepy. Nice. Okay, I see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's going to be at least one time I'm going to use stasis and get stuck on the door. Now... What is this? Okay. Uh, recharge the stasis module at recharge stations or by using packs in the inventory. Okay. I'm not going to use the pack again. I've got two more charges. I assume it's going to kind of like overcharge. 
the save station. Let's do that. Okay, got my first save in as well. Things are looking good. Yeah, things are looking superb. Fuck. Obviously, where is it going to come from? Or is it going to come at all? Yeah. Yeah, it took long enough that I was like, yeah, this is... This ain't it. This ain't it, Chief. But yeah, I want to see the stasis in action when I'm against an enemy, because if we're trying to cut off limbs, I'm still a bit... I think I got a bit lucky. I managed to, like, cut both of the legs off at the start. And it seemed to die, but... I don't know. I'm not... Like, terribly confident. The sensitivity is a little bit high, but that's something I did check the settings of when I got the, the pistol in my first test. Um, I spent a bit of time doing this, but it's it already seems to be at the lowest. Let me just quickly show you guys for anyone curious. Um, wait. Yeah, so stick sensitivity shows zero. So it's already on the lowest, which is a bit odd. I didn't touch this, I thought maybe this is going to be a bit of a problem, but it's something I'll have to try and get used to. It's an optional little room. What does that say? The vents. Inside the vents. Found. Yeah, basically they come through the vents, so we have to be careful. Okay. Sure, it's gonna be fine. I guess if they if they don't look like they've turned, I don't need to kind of try to shoot them. I will do the the thing that I tend to do with these types of games, where if there's a dead-looking enemy, sometimes you just got to shoot them to see if they're gonna perk up. Sometimes it doesn't work, and they still do anyway, just to give you the scare. But. But I do love the that you can hear the heart racing. Uh, bring the others. He told he told me to bring the others. Oh shit! Some stuff. So it doesn't matter if you're like 500 years in the future and it's sci-fi shit. It always seems to come down to some kind of probably virus type thing. People are turning. When there's so much potential for using aliens, they haven't. I don't think they've gone down that alien route here. I think humans are always a bit scarier than aliens. Right, we can use this. And I think these are free, I think. You can just recharge them as much as you like. So I don't know if like some kind of alien thing ended up infecting these people or like turning them or whatever, but we know for I sure. Don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms and legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop moving? <laughs> That's why we've got to do the stompy thing. We've got to... It serves as a double tap as well, which I think is smart. Given the circumstances. Node thing. Let's see what that does. Right. Claw disengaged. Oh, let's miss that. Message retrieved. Vents into engineering. You got a stasis module handy? We need one in tram maintenance stat. The autoloader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the tracks, and if the whole system's gridlocked, guess who they're calling? Temple here, sending a stasis module now. What happened to the autoloader? No idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. I keep hearing things. Down in the gears where, where no one could be. You know? I know. I know. Sounds a bit sus. Alright. Let's see what we can do. We have another stasis charging thing here. They really want you to use that stasis. Must be enemies coming soon. Prepare systems online. Loading system reinitialized. And well, they could come from either side, so we have to be careful. Here we 
we go. Autoloader malfunction. Please contact a repair technician. In terms of enemies, it's been relatively slow to start, I would say. Just more atmosphere setting and just little kind of teasing. Just upping the anxiety. Yeah, picking up plenty of this stuff. That's good. We're going to be needing them. Some cash. I think that's everything. Okay. Whoa! Okay, that was not good. Let's try that thing and then flip it and reverse it. Uh, yeah. So I managed to figure that one out by myself. In testing. Like I say, it's a, it's definitely an interesting way to, to kill enemies, I have to say. So I think what we're supposed to do is engage this claw thing and then stasis it. I don't know if it will stay in stasis long enough. Let me... Do the other one. Is it going to do the same thing? Whoa! Oh shit! It's not expecting two at once. I think that guy's dead. It's very weird that the limbs are more effective. So they don't all drop. They don't all drop loot when you stomp them, but do. Right. But yeah, you can see how effective it is because without it, everything at full speed, especially at close quarters, it seems very tough to kind of do the dismembering thing. Left loader claw engaged. Okay. Right. So the right one, we've got to do that, stasis the claw, and then run back. Let's see if we can do it. Right loader claw engaged. Let's go. Nice. Please stand by. dead. I think it's dead. Yeah, well it dropped an item so it must be. Another one. So it seems like headshots do work but maybe they're not the best method. Because I feel like I'm kind of, they are delivering like killing blows as well. Is there another one? Oh, for God's sake. You got it. The tram was jamming the whole system. That's one down. You said a data board was fried too? Inventory says there's a spare board in the maintenance bay. We can't run the trams without it. Yeah, so it, it's definitely like not the case that, oh, just don't, you can't shoot his head or anything. Like, you, def it definitely still also kind of works, but... I guess they're, they're telling you the best way to do it is to dismember. Where am I going? Okay. I guess now we have to go down the other side of the corridor. So, yeah, the enemy that they teased us with earlier might be making a reappearance. But so far, at least, especially if I've got a bit of distance, yeah, going with the legs seems to work. Come into play or what? What a wimp. What a wimp. 
but it might just kind of come back around this way. Yeah, I'm going to spend a lot of time just like this. Oh, come on, really? Okay. So I guess it is back to this bit. Projectile. Shit. Oof. So I guess that's one trick they have to kind of level the odds when you're at a distance. That's level one. Okay. But so far, so good. I'm digging the vibe. The the gunplay has a slightly unique take on it. And it's, it's also fusing in some of those sci-fi elements that can definitely be interesting. So for anyone curious, I, I believe this game is, is towards like the 15 hour mark, like 13 to 15, uh, depending on your playstyle. So I tend to always be on the higher end of that due to the LP kind of format, uh, blind run, all of that kind of stuff. And I'll try and talk things through as I go along. But it shouldn't be more than like 15, 16 tops. Hold that. And then we can do this. But yeah, I will save as often as I can, as always. But yeah, definitely just, I do miss, in general, games of this length. I, I do mention it a lot, but this era really was like the era of... Well, this it was nearing towards the end of the era of games that were under 20 hours and that were still amazing games and great experiences. Like the third person kind of action sort of genre was still was still in that kind of level. Because nowadays, like especially every game, the, the game just gets so much longer. So I'm always finding myself just like thinking back to the MGS days, uh, like Uncharted days, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Tomb Raider, just games that, well, Bioshock as well, I mean, I'm already seeing a little bit of crossover with Bioshock here as well. It's just, I don't know, I do miss that. What a trilogy Bioshock was overall, I do miss it. Yeah, it, it keeps keeps mentioning that. No power. I do miss it, man. It's kind of sad to, to think that we might never really play a Bioshock game again unless they remaster slash remake. Now, this is the first example of something that definitely looks more like a monster, but it also looks a bit dead. Let's see what happens. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, they mentioned this already. And we've got this. Maintenance bay, cargo hold, storage. That's that little room. It must be, must be just a little loop room here. Oh boy! Not this time. But I do see that flash of green. So yeah, this is going to be one of those games in that kind of category. Hopefully, like. 25 episodes or so tops. Since this first one, I'm looking to make it about two hours or so. Now, I was about to say these fucking vents. Yeah, they gave us another teaser there. It's all popping off. Yeah, these vents are great because they constantly keep you on edge. There's so many of them everywhere that they could just be coming out from absolutely anywhere. I think I remember like when I got to... Um, I think The Last of Us 2 
when I saw how long that game was, I was just like, come on, man. Like, it, if even this genre and this style is going to like 25, 30 hours, it's just too much, man. I do miss the more refined experience. And well, Dead Space, since it's a 2008 game, I believe originally, uh, the remake doesn't suddenly make it like 40 hours long. It sticks to its roots. So I think it is a bit longer than the original, maybe a little bit, but not by much. Again, early Resident Evil games. Um, definitely shorter sometimes too short honestly like um, could be debated but even Resident Evil 4 remake it took me over 20 hours I think to do the first initial run so that was like on the edge I would say like 20 hours as long as the game's still really good that's about the maximum I would say Red things, what are they? It's a pretty big area compared to what we've been dealing with so far. Lots of narrow corridors, of course, but. Oh. No, I've got to do it that way. Whoa! I think these red things are like explosives. That's what they are. Get over here. So I'm going to sprint around a bit, give myself an opportunity. Now that I've figured out what this is. They're giving you plenty of them, so that should give you an indication of the amount of enemies we could be facing. Oh my god, they're quick. I did not expect this to be that quick. Fuck me. There's a bunch here. No! Oh my god. You've got to look how many bullets you've got left. Sheesh. There we go. I think when they're like that, there's nothing to really double tap. So I missed the opportunity on the first one. But there's just too many of them scattered around. These are the equivalent of, of the red explosive barrels that are part and parcel of these games. Now, again, I'm trying my best to look around and only miss like 60% of what's available instead of 90%. This is probably, yeah, I think that's where I, that's where I came in from, this bit. Getting very dark in some of these parts of it. I don't like these noises at all. Not this time. Don't think it's dead. This time I only slowed it down, yeah. Okay. Yeah, can't get the barrel thing every time, but. I'm calling them barrels, but I don't even know what they're called. Canisters, I guess, is probably the best word for them here. Right, so how do I... Yeah, you can see those air vents are literally everywhere. Just a never-ending threat of them springing out. Did you see how it said call question mark? It's almost, almost like a, do you really want to do that? Are you sure you want to call the elevator? knows what might happen if you do. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have some action here. Come on. I 
fine. It's going to be on the way back from whatever we're doing here. Sound design really good so far as well. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna like poke it and run. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to fully poke, but there we go. I'm sure we're gonna encounter very fast versions of these as well. They're going to be a much bigger challenge to kill. And I do hope they have a decent variety of them. With these kind of games, sometimes they can get a bit caught up in just having too many of the same enemy. This one's definitely a corpse. But no loot this time. Right, another thing here. Or almost skip this text log. Okay. Sure. So I still have about three quarters of my health, which is pretty nice. Oh man, I see what they're doing here. I need to take the elevator down, therefore I must turn the lights off. You bastards. You absolute bastards. Shit. Okay, well at least they have some, uh, some lighting here to help us a bit, but... Yeah. This could get nasty. those red canisters and the fact that they're, they're, they're nicely illuminated I assume. I think I'm going to be chased down by them surely. I think there's more than one. What? Why did I clip? Like, I went straight through it. That's not fair. That's not fair. That should not have happened. Bullshit. Wow, medium pack. Nice. Yeah, they knew you were gonna have some trouble here. Yeah, I should use it. There we go. But yeah, that was some bullshit from here. I clearly made that shot. That's okay. Any chance I get, I just want to see the front of the suit. It's too damn cool. It's not a game of many cutscenes either, I think, so you're not going to get that many chances to see it. Sounds like it's coming from the right. But if one comes from behind, I'm in trouble. Yep. One more here. Might be a little bit too close. Can I get both? I think I can. Yes. Thank you, canisters. Save my ass. Right, now we can safely enter this room. I think. Are you ever truly safe? Because, I mean, look at that. Bench, nano, circuit, repair. Right, let me see about the loot first and then I'll look at this bench thing. Poker night. Okay, some people want to have a cheeky poker night. I'm in, but can you not invite Pavy? Pavy? Pavy this time? I know he's still blaming himself for Sorosi's incident and everything, but no one wants to hear about anyone's fucking nightmare, especially that one where he saw Sorosi up and walking around with half his head missing. 
And don't give me shit about it. I'm serious. It's messing with me. Last night I had one of those dreams where you wake up, you know. And my dad was sitting next to my bed talking to me. It felt so real. I kept seeing him out of the corner of my eye all day. And trust me, that one, that's one son of a bitch who needs to stay dead. Get freaky. And everything. Well, okay. Isaac, we can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. Hold on, I got the data board. I'm coming back to tram control now. Daniel, get ready to go. Cool. Let's have a look at this. Reload time 1.67 seconds. So I think I'd like to have a look at this first. Stasis zone size. Yeah, the second HP is far away, but they could, they immediately give you the first one. So let's take that. So one, two, five. And then I think I'll upgrade this one next to get some more damage. And then why not? I've already been caught out because I didn't reload once. But they only give you one more. It's a bit lame. It would have been a bit more than that, so it's fine. So there we go. What does this say? To join is to survive. Yeah, there's some there's some, gonna be some unitology bullshit going on here. But how has that resulted in all of this madness and chaos here? Obviously, that remains to be seen. Right. Uh, doesn't sound healthy. Come on, then. I'm ready for you. Oh, it's, a, it's like a crawler. Hello. There's more. But wait, there's more. Yeah. I kind of fucked up that time, so I wanted to make sure it's dead. Okay. So you don't have to dismember like completely, I guess. But yeah, there's that stasis coming in, to get me out of trouble. It's so dark. God damn it. Can I? What happens if I just do this? Can I leave it inside? Apparently you can. Wow. Okay. Catch my breath. Alrighty. You can stay there. We'll probably need to come back here at some point or something. Already done this one, so I don't think there's anything to do here. I prefer this one. Yeah, there you go. Finally. Yeah, they tease this guy for a while, but medium difficulty seems to be in a good place at the moment. I'm not having too many troubles. They're not taking like you know eight hits each to kill, so. I'm happy with that. Come on, it's still very early day, so it's, we need to see the game kind of potentially ramp up more before we draw any conclusions. Let's just open. I'm sure that was a text log or something. It looks like a brain? Yeah, it's a brain. Oh, it's this bit. Sorry, my bad. Put that in there. Set things into motion. Data board reinstalled. System restart complete. Call the tram. Let's do it. 
Maintenance complete. Calling tram. It's clear. These guys are back. Now arriving at flight deck tram control. So we're not going together. Oh. Fine. on board. Something hit the roof, but it seems operational. Quarantine lockdown's lifted, so you can get to the hangar. Comms are still down, though, so be ready for anything. What's the plan? You and Johnson fix up the Kelly. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. What? Protocol? Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. <sighs> we'll see. Turn to the Kellyan. Okay. Let's do that. It's such a like simple idea to just have this whole flipping thing. But I don't know, to me it's one of those like really smart ones. This is the kind of area where stasis might be needed. Fuck. <laughs> Everybody in the chat, especially those of you that don't like uh, horror experiences, but you're here anyway because, you know, there's a, there's a chat going on and there's a group of people watching along with you. I hope you guys are hanging in there. I do remember from Resident Evil, I've literally had people that have like, they've joined in the chat at the start, they've showed some love. And then they're like, nah, I'm just ducking out of here, this is too much for me. <laughs> Whoops, that was a mistake. Didn't mean to jump scare you guys there. So, I get it. But it seems like, at least so far, the, the level of kind of horror in this game, I'm, I'm okay with. It definitely feels a bit jumpier and like, uh, intense than Resident Evil, in that sense. I think it maintains that atmosphere like throughout. I can only imagine it's like this pretty much throughout the game. But it's not so far at least, it's not like truly terrifying. But we will see. It's still like first hour or so. I'll try to make this about two hours, this first premiere episode. Give you guys plenty to watch this Halloween. Ready to chop your legs off, homie. Or do that, or do that, or do that. I think I took a hit? Yeah. We'll take that. Wow. Damn it. Is this a place I've been before? No, it is not. Definitely worth looting. Ah, uh, yes, nice. That's an upgrade. That's everything. This guy's still at large. Screw you. I mean, depending how things go, if it's been like... Sound good. Where is it coming from? What the hell? How did it end up right there? Wow. 
what I was going to say is that if it's been like, I don't know, four or five hours, six hours, and basically I haven't died at all, it's, it seems quite routine in terms of difficulty, then I'm happy to step it up to the next one. But you guys know me, I, I tend to uh, be quite realistic and modest about my skills with this stuff, and I just go for the, the normal medium difficulty usually. I mean, they were literally two tiers lower than, than that one, so... But I do think it's the kind of games, especially with like horror, survival, action, that kind of thing, you've got to be nearer that kind of difficulty range, I think. But the fact that a game like this has a story difficulty, I did actually find interesting. Um, so they, 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 they trust in the fact that they have a story enough that they have a story difficulty. And that's a good thing for me, because obviously the stories of video games are always a big draw for me to actually play them. So it remains to be seen. I mean, this remake got reviewed really well, and the original was already acclaimed. So Isaac, we made it to the bridge. It's there's no survivors. Daniels is trying to get into the command computer. So I do have high hopes, and so far, at least, I'm I'm pleased with what I'm seeing and what I'm playing. Now he said there's no survivors, but we've got to find some somewhere. Else. Saw that. Did I miss that the first time? Maybe I did. I probably did. Right, back to the ship. Let's see if our crewmate is still there. Still alive. Hopefully. Well, if the ship hasn't blown up yet, I guess, so that's a good sign. Okay. Wow, helmet off. Singularity Core is my middle name. What have you got on you? Is that good? Haley, I need you to listen. The Ishimura's overrun with the fucking monsters. You didn't hear anything? No, the comms are still out. Isaac... We need the Killian fixed now. Got a damage report? Uh, yeah, it, it's there. I should have been with you. Um... How did they know to attack the Singularity Core? They look pretty mindless to me. Shit. Shit. It's funny I said the ship hasn't blown up yet. There you go. Rip. Yeah, that was too much. Sprinted back round. Yeah, for those guys, you've got to not skip limb day. What if I hit one of these? It does do something, but not enough. Yeah, that time it was too many headshots, actually. Have I run out of bullets? No, I haven't. Wasted a lot of bullets there. But... Isaac, what's happening down there? Justin's gone. The Kelly and Till. The Singularity Court overloaded. No! The Kelly was our only way home. We're trapped. No! I'm not losing two good people for nothing. What about the command computer? It's a brick. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Okay. Okay, here. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical... status deceased? Even the captain? God. Isaac, you're closer to medical. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Find the captain's body and get his rig. With his codes, we... 
What was that? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Oh no. Shit. Yeah, that is not good. So it is looking a bit more like a kind of, not standard, but like a zombie story where whatever the situation is with these monsters infected, whatever's going on with them, they seem to, when they attack each other or when a certain thing happens, you turn, basically. So. It's not a bunch of humans that kind of it simultaneously got infected and then chaos ensued. They seem to be able to expand their numbers, I guess, by infecting each other, turning each other, whatever. So again, it's something we're we're pretty familiar with with all the the zombie stories, infected stories that we've seen and played over the years. Yeah, I'm just really digging the aesthetic. I think that's one of the things I'm enjoying the most. Straight up, the game just looks gorgeous. I'm trying to remember when was the last time I played something like more legit, like sci-fi vibe. It's been a while, I think. So I think I'm enjoying that too. Obviously, a lot of it is interior. I do kind of wish there were more areas where you could see out into space. It's very early days. I'm sure there's plenty, not plenty, but I'm, I'm hoping there's at least areas like that. But it would be nice to really get a feel that you're in space. Like, this could be some kind of underground lab, for example, and you just wouldn't really know the difference. So, I am hoping for some more spacey vibes as we go. Uh, let me quickly... Wait, there was a stasis charge here as well. I was going to say, let me charge my stasis first, but... I'm pretty sure there's a charge around here. It's like this bit, right? next to where you come out from here, I think. I still have about two-thirds my HP, then that's okay. I don't seem to be taking, like, huge damage per hit. Oh, this is a different bit. Shit. Store. Okay, there's a few things going on here. Let me start with this. I think anywhere we have a store, it's probably unlikely that we get into it with these guys. Yeah, especially when I see posters and stuff, it, it really does remind me even more of Bioshock. They came out at a pretty similar time, interestingly enough. It's just a, a, a good era of gaming, I guess. A bit of an underrated one, potentially. Right. Let's see. There's, I always, I'm always a bit fascinated with stuff um, that's written on walls because it, it seems so deliberate compared to a lot of other things in the game. Fuck this ship! It's a shitty capitalist organization. Right. Let's have a look at this store. Quick check here. Ah, well, there you go. This is where we get to spend our monies, I guess. 11,400. Wow, I've got 86. That's nice. Okay. Uh, I mean, I should get this right. I get more inventory slots and a 5% armor. So let's do that. Quantity unique. We lose the iconic, like, triple cyan-coloured helmet visor thing that they have, but... Oh well. Nice. Yeah, I do prefer the look of the first one, but... Fair play. Now, can we sell anything? Yes, we can. Um, we have a, a good number. I'm going to keep that. And well, we have decent healing too, so I think I'll leave it at this for now. And I guess if we do run out, we can do that. 
is that maybe this is like the OG one? Yeah, DS08, Dead Space 08 Legacy Rig. That's pretty cool. Okay. Maybe I'll put that on later. Okay. What now? This way. I should have recharged the stasis. Upgrade, yeah, they are selling you one, so let's do that. Let's do that and then we'll save. Can you want? I think there's probably still a good like 45 minutes to an hour. Suit level 2 upgrade graph. So, yeah, when you upgrade the suit, I guess you get more of these nodes. Okay. I would like more stasis duration, to be fair. this reload time yeah the good stuff is that they're all two nodes away I think I'll go with this one first I, I would like more stasis I think stasis energy Get a little save in. Okay. Just love that health indicator thing on the back, man. This is so cool. Life juice. Honestly, I think the game kind of encourages you to be aiming as you walk because it's literally obviously the torch effect as well. It's such a dark game. It's both a, obviously the torch and being ready for anything at the same time. About to say quiet so far, but noises are never far away. Yeah, nothing I could do there. Yeah, sometimes when they're like too close quarters, I didn't want to use my final stasis as well. In those situations, I'm not really quick enough to, to react, get limbs off. There we go, chapter one complete. I did not look up how many uh, chapters there are in this game. If we're saying about an hour per chapter, there's probably about 13 of them, something like that. Kinesis module. Okay, more Bioshock vibes here. We've got telekinesis as well. Nice. Yeah, you see like all of these posters for using kinesis and that kind of thing. It really reminds me of that. Right, aim. Right, so it's Y for stasis and B for kinesis. C. Okay. Cool. Can we, like... That's just to pick it up and put it down, and then if we... Does this fire the gun, or does it fire the kinesis? Nice. Okay. I'm sure that will come into play as well. Oh, I didn't see the rails were going backwards, but I guess we got it done. Little bit clunky. I guess there's probably going to be, again, a bit of a Bioshock-style thing where you can kind of, if you see an item, maybe there's items you can't reach, and then you just go like that, 
Can you pick it up? I make comparisons to Bioshock because, like, I've not played a huge amount of games in my lifetime. And, well, that's the one that I'm drawing the most comparisons to right now. Uh, it's by no means probably the first game to do these things. Don't let... God, hold the line. They all came back. They all came back, she says. Rip, but thank you for this, I guess. Surely that's a new weapon now. There we go. Wow. Already weapon number two. Love to see it. Let's do that. Pulse rifle. Military grade assault rifle with a higher rate of fire. And we have a proximity mine. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Proximity mine. That could definitely be useful. Sure we'll get a chance to test this pretty soon. It's generally how this goes. Is that a stasis? No, that's just the next thing. Same time. I'm trying to have as many as possible. You know how it is. Recording issues, things can go wrong mid-recording, and you have to re-record bits. The crosshair looks like it's a bit harder to dismember with, possibly, but we'll see. I feel like surely they're going to make us test out this, this weapon like we right now. No? Okay. So this is like our fast travel, I guess? I see, okay. Right, there's not a huge number of them, but could definitely be useful. So I won't use it for now, I guess. There's not much point. Why am I here? You were chosen. Yeah, I have to try to make sure I read the logs here. There's definitely enough going on story-wise that... I think it's going to be some cool stuff to uncover. Right, okay. Let me check the map, make sure I haven't missed anything. This is the bit I came from, I think. It's a lot. Okay. Now, is there going to be an enemy behind that? Can we like throw something that big? Wow. It didn't help open the way, but let's just drop it. But in general, just again, the, the aesthetic, the lighting, the design, detail. It's really, really good. Continue to be impressed. Bloody hell. Isaac, have you heard from Daniels? We were attacked. She ran the other way. Of course. No, nothing. Medical's a slaughterhouse. They barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. The coal could be through there if... Isaac. The one who attacked us. 
I swear to God it was Chen. Sheesh. But I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. Save stations, man. There are definitely plenty of them nearby. I'm surprised there seems to be not much to loot at this point. <laughs> I didn't know if I could grab something from there. There's the level two security clearance required. Fine. I don't think there's anything at the store that I would need, but let's have a look anyway. Yeah, I'm not within range of getting another upgrade unit thing. Maybe I should take a little risk here. And sell a few things. I want that, I want that extra upgrade, so I'm taking a bit of a risk, but... Okay. So I think with that, I'm ready to go. There's this one that's unlocked as well. Is it worth going this way first? Let's have a look. Haven't had a chance to use this bad boy yet. Finally, stasis, yes. Sorry, dude. Now, I wonder what happens if I... The stasis lasts too long. I was going to say, what happens if I use stasis and try and get one of those guys caught in it, but it takes too long. I wouldn't be able to time that. So it's been a quiet phase. Grab loose objects, throw sharp objects. The enemy's to impale them. Nice. But I'm going away from the objective. Maybe this isn't the best idea. I'll come back here. I think that's maybe... Maybe that's where you continue the story. I should do one, one thing at a time. I don't exactly have like a side quest at the moment, so... There you go. Nearly got caught. There. I will be back. Stick to the task. Welcome to the lab. If you've been referred to the lab, please have your referral form and CC authorization ready. What is... They haven't turned, but I guess this is them turning. That's something that I wanna, I do wanna see. Like, we haven't seen a live turning yet. I guess if you leave this guy around, when you come back, he's probably going to be one of them. So that that means, do we stomp this guy now? Could that help? I kind of feel like we have to, now that we know what's going on with that. Maybe that makes a difference. Sorry, dude, but it's the way it goes. Maybe that saves us from an encounter later on. too quiet right now. But yeah, I'm not going to stomp every single human corpse I see like that. Just, it just still feels too icky to do that. But that one just seemed like a very obvious setup. There you go. Uh, 
Uh, throw plants. I did find one thing that was valuable among these before, but no luck since then. Oh boy, here we go, we can test this out. Honestly, it takes a lot of bullets, man. Yeah, we've got 25 back, thankfully, but still. Oh wow, the reload's pretty gangster. Okay, we have to power this up. Uh, let's use our telekinetic powers, shove that in there. Excellent. Honestly, I think I'm liking this more. Yeah, it was too slow to switch. But depending on the scenario, I do still, I think, like this more. It just feels more intuitive to slice off limbs with this as opposed to targeting them with this for now. I'm sure there's going to be different types of enemies and stuff where one's more effective than the other. Ah, another bench. Okay, good. So trying to see if there's that like telekinesis to get an item that you normally can't. Half-Life Alex also has something like that, if I remember correctly. Never played it, but I watched uh Real Deal, who you probably know from the community chat and the stream. I watched him play. Um, let's see what they got for this. Capacity, damage. Yeah, I mean, this one's damage is 110. It almost does three times damage, the damage per bullet, which is pretty impressive. I think I'll go for this though. For now. Okay. It's to be fucked up. It's okay to be fucked up. We can't. Yeah, I can't read what that says. If I figure it out in editing, I'll let you guys know. Or if I can't, then someone in chat maybe don't know what it is. Right, so we probably have another about half an hour or so tops um, before I finish up this premiere episode. Hope you guys are continuing to enjoy. If you are, do not forget to drop that like on this video. I swear I fired that off. I don't think anyone got caught in it. Get myself out of trouble with that stasis. That was not good. Now I see this guy. Can I get like a sneaky... I should do something. I don't think it's dead. 
But it did kind of fall silent. Maybe it worked. Okay. So we've got to move this guy. Really? Wow. Surprise. I think I only shot it like three or four times. I didn't aim for its limbs, so I was not expecting that. Yeah, they know they know you're using some stasis around here. Ah, I forgot this. Now I can try it. Yes, it works. I love that shit. That kind of stuff is cool. Infidels! There we go. Dark Valor for launching. I cannot hear or see that word and not think about Dark Valor for anymore. It's just ingrained. So let's try this one first. Very dark. Yeah, that's why. Oh, this asshole. How about we give him one of these? There's no doubt that that asshole is coming. No doubt about it. Uh, sensory deprivation treatments. The diagnosis is stacking up as fast as I can file them. Sleep paralysis, hallucinations, nightmares, paranoia. Getting patients from all over the ship. No underlying cause is showing up in environmental analysis, foodstuffs, or radiation levels. I admit, I'm at a loss. Hmm. I'm seeing some improvement with sensory deprivation treatments in our zero G therapy pods, but the sheer number of patients we're managing bothers me. The systems are old and need to overhaul. With so many pods active, I worry what might happen if there's a serious power surge down there, but nothing else seems to help. I suppose the odds are low enough. I'd rather take a small calculated risk. And have dozens of miners and engineers impaired around heavy machinery. Just casually just knock that over. I know that guy's up there. Can I, if I've put any mines down and like they've not gone for them, can I just pick them up again? Get out of the way. That's German though. This could be super dumb. But I guess I'll just have to leave it there. Okay. Yeah, I do think I want to save that. At least I can keep track of how long the, the file is as well. Okay. I need to remember to try and shoot these as well. These could basically have the same effect too. Oh. In a vacuum, the rig will display the time remaining before the oxygen supplies to be There we go. That's really cool. See, th this is the space vibes that I was talking about. Nice. But I guess I have to be careful to not dally around too much, otherwise I will run out of oxygen and die. Which we don't want. Pick that up. Okay, let's try and get a move on here. Is this going to be the one? Okay. 
Oh, nice. There you go. See, that's super cool. If you're making a game set in space, you got to do some of this shit. Let's try it. Iron Man shit. Let's go. Move. Look. Boost. Reset orientation. Reorient. Oh wow. Okay. That's really, really cool. Uh, I can't spin the camera around, obviously it's a looking one. Oh, I see, I can do shit like this. That's so cool. I love it. It feels very, like, intuitive, at least for now. And then there's this bit. Yeah, I guess I got disoriented. Hold on. There you go. Okay. That's really neat as well. That's super cool. There's no doubt going to be combat sections with that. Super cool. It's a little taster there. Of what to expect from that. See, again, it's another one as I just do this. Go. I think this is what I'm after. Still holding this position. What's happening there? Did you find Nicole? No sign of her yet. But I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay, work fast, Isaac. Okay, first of all, let's loot. Oxygen tank. Nice. So we're going to have to go back through there now. Zero uh, no. You know what? Sheesh. That was really impressive. Yeah, I thought I'd be smart and just kind of wait for it to, and just like pick it off from here and then just launch itself at me. Holy shit. I think they probably only gave you one here to not stress you out too much while you're trying to get the hang of the new mechanics. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more of that. Uh, what? what the hell? It shut the whole ship. I'll check it out. this through here. Oh. So now I can actually... I see. Oh boy. This is giving me anxiety. This is like MGS2 uh, flooded tanker mission kind of vibes. Where, where you're trying to swim through and make sure you have enough O2 to get the job done. At least we got that. Try my best to make sure I do everything I can here. And I did expand the oxygen level in here. Also, I want to check if this is a one time deal. Well, turn that on. Yeah, okay, you can recharge it more than once. That's good. That gives me a little more relief. Yeah, these guys, when you're actually flying and shit... It's definitely a bit of a problem. Okay, let's make sure I keep going the right way. Took one step out of the captain's net to change that thing. 
He almost got me. You okay? I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. He's snarling like, this is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. <sighs> Did he say he trapped Chen? I was so busy trying to make sure I don't screw up. Pulse round. Okay, nice. I couldn't quite hear what Hammond was saying. Like, I wasn't paying attention to it. I was trying to write myself. But yeah, again, another cool kind of twist on the, the usual third-person shooter action kind of vibe. Kind of setup. That's really nice. There's going to be some shit going down here, is there? Was there a stasis nearby? Not really... Nah, the stasis is on this side. That sucks. Yeah, I assume we still keep going through. Or not. Or not. What if we did this? Oh shit. The, the proximity bomb did shit all. Yeah, I'm not impressed with the proximity bomb, that was weak. It seemed like he almost took no damage from it, it went straight through it. We're still doing okay. But definitely starting to run lower now on um, ammo. That's why I've got to remember to do that. Okay. Well, I think I need to keep using this. They want me to, to use that more, I assume. where I double tap that guy. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. Okay, let's go. Store, we should have a save as well. We're getting near the end of this first premiere episode. Was that? Couldn't catch it. 144, okay. Let's check this out. I picked up an oxygen tank as well. Um, this is money. I think this time I, I'm going to have to be the one buying some. Because I'm nowhere near 10k anyway, I'm not going to get another node, so it's not going to be worth it. Yeah, now I can go through here. So as expected, this is the next bit. These guys look like dead humanoid types. Oh my god, I completely missed this time. It's not fair. Yeah. Now, because of that foolishness, I'm down to one. Yeah, no um, stasis near one of these doors this time. Right, we were looking for projectiles to impale. That's what we wanted to do on this one. And so if they're showing us that, no doubt, we're going to have our first victim soon. Big old area. Right. We 
Where you at? Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Right, here we go. Sheesh. Wow. Okay, that works. Got any more of those? No, I thought I could run past. I saw that. Ah. I want to try and basically use the impaling thing. Okay, that's two. Not the cleanest, but we're getting it done. There was at least one more that I dropped around here. Shit. Wow. That was an example of how just like using the weapon like that just doesn't work as well. Damn. Still alive? God damn. Yeah, I couldn't find all the projectiles I wanted, but it's definitely fun if you can do it. Can I get that one back? I can. Wait, no, I can. Okay. Now there must be some stuff to loot here. What's going on? I do like that. I do like that mechanic. I've got to look out for it. Let's prep a little bit. Things are getting more intense. I'm starting to drop health a bit more frequently now. They're coming in like threes and fours instead of individual. Right, let's go for it. Fun's probably going to continue downstairs. Maybe I should take a projectile with me if I can find one. Yeah, this one I don't think counts as, yeah, because basically they're single use. I think they don't want you spamming the same one. That's a shame. Yeah, there's going to be a more chaos here. Damn. Shit. Sometimes I try and sprint and he just can't. He just can't sprint. That's my first death. Completely blocked the doorway. That sucks. All I wanted to do was sprint past and I got completely stuck. Because behind me there was at least two more. And so I figured I have to try and just sprint and push past this guy. <laughs> and he just completely stood there like, nope. And there's no jumping mechanics. There's no rolling mechanics. So... When you get stuck, you get stuck. Where am I now? Ah, uh, okay, it's from this bit. Fine. Let's see if we can do it right this time. This guy. I think there was... Whoa. Come on now, there hasn't been any crashes yet. Wow, that was such a seamless transition. So as you guys saw, I had my first crash there. Um, almost two hours of gameplay. So I'm willing to say fair enough on that one. We'll see if it's like a repeat issue there. But it wouldn't have happened if I didn't mess up this bit to start with. Come on. Okay, start with that. 
How did he get there so fast? Get out of here. Arsehole. So I started off really nicely. I got the first two projectiles, but... I would... How did... This time I didn't even get a chance to grab one of these. I didn't realize that was a mechanic. That's that's really cool. Suddenly things have ramped up. Yeah, I just... Look at how many of them there are. There's like five down here. So all of a sudden everything changes and I think projectiles are not enough. Wow. I can't leave you guys until I show uh, the completion of this bit. So there we go, medium difficulty at least after the first two hours or so. It's, it seems to be difficult enough that um, we don't need to change anything for now. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. This guy's gonna come around from there. And as I say, if you're not targeting the limbs, you can empty like a whole clip, but nothing really happens. Okay. So, okay. Last time there was three of them. That's so weird. Once we get down there, we have to be very careful, though. Far and away the most dangerous place we've been to so far. Can I get any, like, easy kills from here? I think now it's worth investigating this, because you just get rushed as soon as you get down there. And I need to scope out where the uh, projectiles are, too. But last time it gave me no space at all. This time, maybe I'll try and be smart and pop one of these here. Oh, it didn't let me. That's lame. Yeah, okay. Once again, me trying to be smart, back quiet. They really want to make sure you get rushed down there. This time, I'm gonna... Sheesh. I think this is the only one left. Whew. There it is. Yeah, only thing about impaling is that you can't. I don't think you can get those extra stomp loops. But we got it done. So, first part of the game that required a couple of attempts to, to get the job done, but I think I will wrap up this uh, this premiere episode here. And we'll proceed from there. 
surgical log. Dr. Charis Mercer. Copy to my secure terminal. I convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. It's remarkable to finally see what I've sought all my life. The miners, this transformation, the divide death itself. Kain is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these necromorphs, as he calls them. How strange, when my own faith has been so richly rewarded. With or without Kine, I must study one of these creatures. Or the next best thing. Brennan's patient, for example. Yeah, I got completely distracted by this thing. <laughs> Sheesh. But yeah, it's definitely starting to come together. We've got the the mad scientist vibes as well. And Dr. Brennan being mentioned. This is going to be where I think I'll wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Dead Space. It seems a really interesting game to me. So like aesthetically, I'm a big fan already. Um, I do like the space premise, even though obviously we're spending most of our time in these kind of interiors. The fact that like we're, we're in space and that intro and the zero gravity sections and all that kind of stuff looks really cool to me. Um, the action is interesting. Like we haven't had too much enemy variety yet. Um, it's been either like the main standing version or the ones that basically slither along the floor almost. Uh, those two guys, I'm sure that will expand as time goes on. Uh, the gunplay is interesting. I, I find it quite uh, unique. I mean, it's not the easiest thing to make gunplay unique in these games, but focusing on the limbs, I, I found it pretty interesting. So I think that's pretty cool. And while the story, um, I don't think it's like a particularly story heavy game, but there's definitely intrigue there with the unitology and looking for Nicole and what happened to her and uh, all of that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode and it has been a companion for you this Halloween. So thank you all for watching. And once again, since this is a premiere, I'm going to more directly ask everybody that's watching along to drop a like if you haven't already and show the premiere slash channel some love. And I will see you guys for the next episode or the next premiere slash streaming event on the channel. Thank you all for watching. Take care.